I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling sassy. Cool. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction series. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you for us on Patreon. Juicy. Follow us for your Twitter account. Ring the bell and call the notification squad to get notified anytime we post a video, which is every single day. Ring it down. Mm, feel that. And follow us on our personal YouTube channels. Link's always in the description below. Uh, mm. Rick, you just had Lexi and Micah on, I saw. I sure did, for they're those of you who haven't seen them in a long time. They're still around. They are still <laughs> around. It's amazing how people just don't disappear like that. It's it's uh, true, yeah. So if you want to you want to catch up on what's going on with them, I did a couple of funny segments, and don't be surprised if you see something with Ashley too. Anyways, uh, so today we are doing a movie review uh, <laughs> of a highly awaited. Once again, they're all highly awaited. Uh, yes, film uh, from Tamil industry called Ninety Six. Uh, starring B.J. Sarapathy. Uh, we've reacted to a song or two from it. I think it was only one song, The Life of Ram, the one right at the beginning. Uh, mm -hmm. And directed by C. Pram Kumar, mm -hmm. who I don't recognize him, but he also wrote it. Uh, and then also starring Trisha Krishnan. Trisha yes, Krishnan? yes. Okay. Trisha Krishnan. And obviously, uh, spoiler review. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Come back if you don't want to be spoiled. If you like to be spoiled, you're just a naughty little boy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and we do encourage you. My mantra is let the movie tell the story. So if you haven't seen 96, I will tell you, before you watch the spoiler review, highly encourage you to watch the film first so that it's not ruined and the movie can tell you the story. Yes, absolutely. So, Rick, initial thoughts. I don't even have a paragraph for this one because oh, I'm just going to I'm just going to I'm going to let it happen uh, contemporaneously. Oh, oh, um, oh, an unedited. That's right, an unedited paragraph. Um I found this movie to be a beautifully cinematic, believable, lovely work of cinema artistry that tapped into so many universal things about love and relationship that ends on a note that is painfully beautiful by not trying to wrap things up in a bow, but present to you the realities of what happened when we settle for things in life and also get stuck in circumstances that we don't know how to handle and have to face the consequences. Uh, I, I just, I absolutely love this movie same uh, I, I really really enjoyed it uh you know i love the ending uh <laughs> i was of wondering the you entire do. time i was like okay she's married she has a child right. in a different right. country right what are they gonna do here are they gonna right. are they gonna run off together but she has a child so she can't just fully run off she you know no. she has to be there for the child what are they gonna do what are they gonna and they kept postponing it and then it finally happened and then it just ended and i was like yes <laughs> <laughs> thank you for doing that uh you know yeah. i appreciate those types of endings that are just more realistic because this happens all the time. I'm yes, sure it happens in it India. Sure it does. happens lots in India. Obviously, it happens all over the world. Different scenarios. Obviously, not the arranged marriage in terms of like the America, um, but in terms of like people, they get married, they their love love interests in like high school, college, and then years pass, years pass, years pass, and then they end up marrying other people, but they always love that other person, and then they meet later. And they, yes, so there's there's story. This is a very human story. Uh, and so I, I really, really enjoyed that aspect of it and how, how beautifully and slowly it told the story. It wasn't in a hurry. To, and I was happy about that. Yeah. I, I was so content to just be with them and watch it unfold. Yeah. Uh, I, I was, um, and, and it, it, uh, I just, I found, first of all, let's just talk about you know, let's talk about, we can talk about acting and directing and cinematography and then overall story, you know, come back to the story. Because to me, 
that's the meat and potatoes of this thing is the story. Oh, yeah. But let's talk about the acting. Uh, mm. I, I thought I thought they were both 100%. I believed this was Ram and and Janu. I, I believe them. I believed. I thought they did a great job casting them as kids, both in the way they looked like them younger, but also I thought the, the performance of the kids was 100% oh, yeah. believable. Yeah, 100%. Right? Yeah, I like uh, it a lot. Totally believable. I thought VJ Sadapathy, just like he was in, in, in Super Deluxe, did very, very, very well. Um, there's only one instance where I I questioned it, uh, but the rest of the movie, I loved it. Uh, I thought he did a phenomenal job. Um, what was the what was the, what was the instance where you where you questioned it for I a moment? I don't know if it was his acting or if it was what they told him to do, and it was just weird to me. Uh, when obviously when he was at the the party, and then he was in the corner, and then she came up to him and then touched him right before he fainted again. Right, um, mm -hmm. he was just doing this, not looking at her, and uh, uh, so, uh, it, it was it was very it felt very forced. Just in that, mm. it didn't feel like the rest of his performance to me. The rest of his performance seemed huh. so small and grounded, and and I and I loved it. And that was the only. That's why I was. I didn't know if it was the, the director's like you really need to show me here. And I'm like, okay, cool. I, I guess uh, <laughs> that's your prerogative. Mm. But other than that, like I said, the entire time I loved his performance. I uh, I thought he was super grounded i was super upset with her for shaving his beard i thought he looked awesome with uh, the beard <laughs> you, that would that would bother you no it bothered my wife too like right when it happened she's like now i hate her uh, no i i loved it i couldn't wait to I know, see him i liked the and, moment uh i he looked. He's. He looks. Um, he's a very, very attractive man. Very yeah. handsome man, and with with a beard and without. Oh yeah, he is. Um, but it that did take like fifteen years off of him. <laughs> it really did, and I felt. I thought that was a beautiful thing to put in the story, and I loved seeing him because I saw the student mm -hmm. um, there, and I thought she was lovely. I, I just every moment they were together, I could see the history. I could sense the depth of feeling. There were so many beautiful moments in this that were so touching. Um, little tiny things, like when she was sleeping and he just watches her for a minute. And yeah. then we know what this means. You know what I'm going to refer to. He prays over her and then he mm. does this. Mm -hmm. And does the, the breaking of it. You know, the, we know what that is. <laughs> Such a loving, caring, beautiful thing to do to her. And then the stick shift when they're coming to the airport. And putting her hand on his hand, um, I, and I, I obviously uh, this was extra painful to watch because I know what it feels like to have to drive to an airport in India and somebody's going on an international flight and you're not going to see each other until you don't know when. Yeah. That personal aspect of it was. Did you cry? Oh, like a freaking baby. Really? You did? Oh. Like a oh. baby, yeah. I cried. <laughs> I cried several times in the film, and I especially cried the last like from the moment she put her hand on his stick shift. I was I cried from there till the suitcase clo suitcase closed and you saw the credits go up. I got emotional when I'm when he pulled that shirt out with the ink on it. Oh, Ugh. Ugh. yeah. I it, yeah. I cried a lot in this movie. <laughs> I didn't. No, it's not a shock. Uh, <laughs> like, like there was no point where I was like, oh, almost. Um, but, <laughs> you know, that's just me. That doesn't mean yeah. I didn't enjoy it and I didn't. Of course not. But uh, I did really enjoy her performance. I thought she was phenomenal. Uh, I, she has she has great screen presence. Uh, Magnificent. Her, her eyes, not as big as Ashwarya's or Shridevi's, but... Her, she has beautiful eyes that are captivating. Uh, yes. And, and so I like her a lot. I would like to see more from her. So if you could recommend both. Absolutely. Uh, both, obviously, Absolutely. VJ. Both and, of them. Um, I want to see, I want to see more of his. Mm -hmm. He, he has, he has a, a screen presence and you'll know what I, what I mean when I say this. Um, he has a screen presence as well as an emotional availability that is uh, telling yeah, uh, in, in his eyes, he must yeah. be a delight. He must be a delight. Both of them must be a delight to work with, well, especially him because he is so emotionally available. 
I sense both of them. Neither one of them have walls that mm. seem to get in the way. I never see them indicating. I never see them performing. I don't ever see them aware of camera. I just believe that uh, that's why I would love to see more of their work because, yeah. well, we've seen, we've seen what he can do with these two completely different kinds of roles. I mean, yeah. come on. From super deluxe to this. Uh, yeah. Co 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 completely oh, different characterization. Uh, yeah. Deeply I, impressed with I liked him a lot. I loved her a lot. I thought the supporting cast was pretty good, especially the kids though, like you were talking about. I thought the kids did phenomenal. Phenomenal. All, all the kids did really, really, which all is not the usually the case. Correct. Yeah. Uh, and and let, let's just, the other thing that I, I was so deep throughout, I was so deeply impressed with the symmetry and the lighting and the beauty of the cinematography throughout. Yeah, my, my uh, wife said uh, that every single frame looked like a photograph. Every frame, there was this there was this mathematical symmetry that comes perfectly, especially in the opening, which is obviously we had reacted that opening sequence where yeah. he's taking the pictures and right. But throughout, there were so many just hats off to Siprem Kumar and the cinematographers Mahandran uh, Jayaraju and N Shamuga Sundaram for your attention to detail and what I, I would equate to a Spielbergian sense of uh, making sure every, I can completely see the painstaking work of w getting that in frame and putting yeah. the actor in and setting the camera and we're gonna, we're gonna make sure that the lighting is coming in there so that, and if it isn't exactly right, and it, it's, it's, um, it has a different aesthetic beauty than say um, a Sanjay Lila Bansali. It, yeah, it's, 100%, it's more, yeah. More Spielberg realism kind yeah. of thing for me. Yeah. Um, so just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then I agree with you. As much as I, the optimist, the romantic in me, I really wanted to see these two together. And it hurt so bad mm -hmm. that they couldn't be. Especially the gorgeousness of the story yeah, the, where, the story weaved in there, the, how many times he went to try, but then didn't succeed. And she was waiting for him to come to the wedding, and he actually was there. Yeah. Which is the cautionary tale inherent in the story of, hey, everybody, say be brave. Yeah. Don't settle. Did you just say, say what you need to say? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, man. John Mayer, say what you need to say. Don't settle. If, if you love someone, tell them. If you take the risk, if you think someone's, if you're in love with them and you want to be with them, don't let them get away. Um, show, show up to the wedding and stop it. Go to the girls' school and don't accept no for the answer. Um, <laughs> uh, don't, don't let the shame you feel of moving away because your dad lost his job and you don't have the money distance you from the person that you deep in your heart believe you were meant to be with. And then you look back on your life and go, I'm not with the person I was supposed to be with because I let fear stop me from doing the thing I wanted to do. And having her have a child mm -hmm. was perfect because that was the deal breaker. That was. Because she said, he said to her, are you happy? And she was honest and said, I'm peaceful. He's a good man. Um, but I married him because I settled and I was waiting for you to come stop the wedding man <laughs> yeah because I, I i feel like if he she didn't have a son she would have totally stayed with him 100 percent. it's it's the writing brilliance that that made that the deal breaker she couldn't do that to her kid she probably could have said you know what i'm gonna just take a risk and i'm sorry if i hurt you but she couldn't do that to her child and you see that in that moment at the airport man when they're standing there and you know they want to give each other a kiss yeah yep but they don't because they have too much respect. He has too much respect for her. She has too much respect for her husband. Yeah. She has too much respect for him. And so she just touches his face. Oh, I'm yeah. getting emotional again. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was actually one of my favorite oh. moments, I thought, because, uh, you know, it, it was unexpected. The way she just grabbed his face right there at yeah, the I end. I, I'm wondering if it was improv. I, I guess it could have been. Uh, well, I guess we'll never know unless we talk to her. Um, but like, it was really, it was such a interesting moment. And my my wife, she said she just doesn't want to see. She doesn't want him to see her cry, is what is what she's doing. Probably. Uh, and so, he grabbed his face, put it down, and then walked away. And I was like, that's the. 
I like that a lot because uh, you know it's it's often you don't want to seem cliche because you know we've there's been millions of movies it seems like that you know leave at the airport kind of things and so you've yeah, seen yeah. you've seen all the goodbyes before um, oh yeah and so it was it was nice to be surprised in a scenario like that and then for the film to just end I thought was a beautiful fitting beautiful. ending uh, for for this for this film so painful but so right because so often. Um, as much as I love and believe we need to see happy endings because life does have happy endings. Life also is full of endings that aren't happy and you need to find the happiness in it and be thankful. Like at the very end, I found it to be so painfully beautiful that he had another little memory to put in his box. I thought you know? it was weird that she just left her clothes. <laughs> her clothes. I, know. I was I like, know, but it was what's, your, what's your husband going to say? You're just coming and you come I home know. and you're in another man's. <laughs> like... oh, another thing to mention is the music of Govind Vazantra, oh, who yeah. did the score. The music was phenomenal. Beautiful, beautiful, so beautiful. Oh, good. I felt like we've heard that singer before, uh, whoever the singer um, were in this. Probably. Probably have. And I got, before we forget it as well, um, I really hope, uh, we're probably preaching to the choir when we say this in terms of who's watching this right now, but maybe somebody's watching this a year or two down the road, right? Uh -huh. As much as we talk about making a bridge between American cinema and Indian cinema uh -huh. and ensuring that as many Americans can start to appreciate and understand the beauty of Indian cinema, Oh, Indians, please get past this whole Bollywood, Hindi, and regional vivisection and bias that everybody has. Because on both sides. On both sides. Both sides. Please support each other. Consider yourselves one film industry who's doing beautiful work, and you're also doing crap. Nobody's perfect. Yeah. And support each other. Because... There is some beautiful stuff that's coming from all over India. And for those of you who, you know, you can't please everybody, but I just, I, I look forward to the day when everybody in India will celebrate every industry in India because we continue to be impressed the more we see from every area yeah, in India. Yeah, because, you know, Americans get accused, and it's true, and it's rightfully so, if, you know, you don't watch anything that's not in English because you don't like reading subtitles. But I right. feel... That's everywhere. Uh, it is everywhere. It's, it is I, everywhere. I see it in the comments all the time, and I block them every single time just because I, I'm, I'm a dick like that. Uh, <laughs> but, like, the, the fact that people, like, they say, these are the people I will, don't react to Bollywood crap. It's all crap. Do regional. Or don't react to anything South Indian. It's all crap. It's all crap, right. And, and so, just, like... Yes, there's crap. There's crap in South India. There's crap in North India. There's crap in East India. There's crap in South India. There's crap in Bollywood. There's crap everywhere in Hollywood. Everywhere. <laughs> there's also gems everywhere. So support those gems. <laughs> Every actor has done bad work in some shape or form. Maybe not brutally awful, but they've they've not they've done. Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> I've seen him do not great work. Uh, not every director does great films. So this whole everything that they do sucks and everything they do is great. That infantile lack of maturity needs to get set off to the side and people need to start opening their minds to the reality that you're missing out on a blessing in your life by not opening up to as much of the regions and the languages and the filmmakers as you possibly can because all of these regions we've hit, Hindi, Tamil, Malayalam, Marathi, Assam, Bengali, and forgive me for anybody I didn't mention, we're we're encountering stuff that's enriching my life and encouraging me and making me happy to see great actors, great writers, great cinematographers that more people need to know about. Yeah. Doggone it. <laughs> so that's our soapbox. <laughs> now and we'll get off of it. <laughs> um, but let us know uh, once again, uh, these two actors, what other films of theirs we should watch. Um, yes, please. And then also the next Tamil film we should watch. We know we've criminally underwatched Tamil films. It's not been on purpose. I know a lot of people think it is. It's not. 
Uh, <laughs> you know, we like good cinema. So, uh, please, down below, tell us which film in Tamil we should watch next and upvote it so I can see it, So and then I can try to find it as well. Uh, so, let us know down below.